So my name is uh, Ted Egan and I grew up in the um, outback in a, a little um, cattle station, sheep station, slightly west of Burke. So my family were graziers. Um, they had moved out there originally in their very early days as tank diggers um, to establish water supplies. So my first career move was in the Navy, um, spent 10 years in the Navy, then went over and worked in advertising within the media. Um, and then I went off and started my own businesses. So the first business was in one of the first dot coms in Australia, was Kidsnet, um, and then founded my own company called uh, Trust Defender, which morphed into another company as we know it today as Threat Matrix. Today it operates in 240 countries around the world. We have about 5,000 brand named customers around the world. Some of the biggest brands in the world have embedded our software. So when you do an authentication, um, there's a pretty good likely chance that uh, the profiling behind it to validate, verify and authenticate you is uh, ThreatMetrics software. In just recent times, we developed the first ever digital identity um, ID. So globally, um, it was a digital ID that can, like your digital DNA, to help organisations uh, accurately and contextually validate, verify and authenticate a customer in real time especially as we um, move into an IoT type world, a purely digital world. So when I was a kid growing up in isolation in the bush, um, growing up with lots of adults, um, hearing lots of stories, reading books as a child, uh, wanting to do something that, was, uh, that other people haven't done. You know, when you do that, you, you kind of strive to break the boundaries. You don't know what you don't know when you're a child and, and it's always been with me. If someone said I couldn't do something, I would try and do it. You know, even my dad said many times to me that I, you know, was never able to do things or I couldn't do things. So I always wanted to prove everyone wrong. It doesn't matter what I do in life, it's the same thing. It's every every time I I, I hit a barrier, I try to break it. So I remember my mum saying to me, why don't you just join the council or something like that and just work in the local council and you know, and I was never, you know, I, I could never do that. I, I wanted to do something that other people hadn't done. I, I never really set out to make people proud around me, but the, the obvious thing is that I've found just of recent times that my family, um, my father who um, has recently got dementia, um, is, is said to me he was very proud it's amazing what people say when they let down their guard. And you know, as you know, when people um, have uh, uh, dementia in their 80s and 90s, they tend to be a little bit more open with you about, or less guarded in their uh, secrets. And they tell you things that, that you were not expecting. And that's really nice. One of my goals for the future, and hopefully I achieve this, is that you know, kids in the outback, the, the underprivileged kids, um, who don't have what the city kids have, um, don't have the access to opportunity to give back to them. And you know, if, if I was going to say a goal that I have for my future, um, it is to um, help some of those kids who were like me, help them achieve and become leaders that um, you know, everyone around them can be proud of in 40, 50, 60 years.